this is my top five reasons why you should buy the Note 10 Plus in 2021. Yo, what is up guys, Aaron here. And uh, real quick, I am a little under the weather at the moment, super congested, so forgive me if I sound a little off. Um, we'll just try to get through this. So. so last month, I made a review of the Note 10 Plus in 2021, and I've been getting asked a lot of questions on whether they should get this phone or that phone, or that phone or this phone. And it just comes down to what your main priorities are. So for example, if you want a phone with a better camera, you might go for that one or if you want a phone with a bigger display and a better battery, you might go for this one, and so and so. So whether you're an Apple fan, a Pixel fan, or even a Galaxy fan, it just comes down to what your main priorities are. So this guy right here has been my daily driver for maybe over two years now, and I can tell you guys straight up that I freaking love this phone even to this day. So if you guys are in the market for a new phone and the Note 10 Plus is one of them, I think you came to the right video. So today I'm going to give you guys my top 5 reasons why you should buy the Note 10 Plus in 2021. Well technically I had like 8 or 10 reasons but I narrowed it down to 5 just to make it easy for you guys. So let's check it out. And my first reason is design. I honestly think this is one of the best Samsung phones ever created if not the best when it comes to design. It's slim, it's sleek, it has a huge 6.8 AMOLED display that produces sharp vibrant colors. And I just want to remind you guys that Samsung is pretty much the king when it comes to displays and it's no exception here. The screen to body ratio is like one of the best and I believe the Note 10 Plus still has the crown for the best bezel list phone. Um, it just has a nice clean minimal look to it and on top of all that it's really light. So that's one. And my second reason is future OS and security updates. Samsung has already announced that the Note 10 Plus is Android 12 compatible and that it will also receive future security patches. There's not much to say here, but it's good to know that the Note 10 Plus will be up to date and present for the upcoming future. And my third reason, and I think this is the most important, is the performance. I mean, this phone is still buttery smooth, just like what I remember from the first day I got it. I mean, all the phones I've owned in the past just felt sluggish after a year of use, but not with the Note 10 Plus. The 855 Snapdragon is no slouch and still really snappy and responsive. No matter what I throw at it, like running a lot of apps in the background or working multiple tasks, I can't get it to lag or stutter. The Note 10 Plus also has 12 gigs of RAM, which still competes with today's flagships. I also want to include battery in this topic because the battery life on this thing is really good. And for such a big phone and a big screen, you need good battery life. I personally don't even use any of the battery saving features and I usually have my screen brightness almost at the highest and it still gets me through the day. Also the 45 watt fast charging is a lifesaver. In just 20 to 30 minutes you can expect the phone to be 70% charged. And from personal experience, there's so many times where I had to rush outside and my phone's about to die and it'll be at like 5%. I'll just plug it in for like 10 minutes and it would be at 40% already. I mean, the charging on this thing is incredible. So real quick, before we move on, I wanna list a couple key differences that favor the Note 10 Plus over the newer S21 non-Ultra version. So you can kinda of see an idea of how this phone compares to a newer flagship. So the Note 10 Plus has a larger screen at about 0.6 inches larger, and it has a bigger battery as well with longer life. It has 12 gigs of RAM over eight gigs on the S21. It has expandable storage with the micro SD. It has thinner bezels over the S21, and it also has a higher pixel count, about 18% more in pixel density. And of course, there are things that the S21 does better than the Note 10 Plus, like the screen refresh rate. But I just listed some key differences that favor the Note 10 Plus, which heavily favors the Note 10 Plus in my opinion, especially when it comes down to price, which we'll go over later. Oh, and by the way guys, I will not be discussing the camera on this phone, but if you guys are curious about the Note 10 Plus camera, I did a review on that on another video, so I'll leave a link down below. And my number four reason is the S Pen. Uh, name a phone right now that you can buy that comes with a pen that you don't have to buy separately. I'll wait. Uh, there's none. And the S Pen is what makes the Note the Note. Depending on your workflow, you may not need the pen, but it's still a nice feature to have. There are many times I had to take quick notes or sign PDF files on the go, 
so it does come in handy. You can also customize the S Pen to do a lot of things like creating gestures and even activating the camera at a distance. So whether you need the S Pen or not, I think it's a really nice feature to have and it does come in handy. And my fifth and final reason is the price. And guys, I'm finding prices ranging anywhere between $300 and $400, so about $350 give or take, which is an absolute steal in my book. I mean, I paid $1,100 for this guy back in late 2019. And in my honest opinion, when I compare the Note 10 Plus to a newer flagship like the Note 20 or even the S21 Non Ultra, the performance of those two phones just doesn't warrant the difference in price. I mean, we're talking double or even triple the price. I can probably get two or three of these for the price of one. But I'll admit that the 120 hertz refresh rate is nice though. So if money's not an issue and you want the latest, greatest tech out there, I'd probably go with the S21 Ultra. But if you are in a budget and you want the best bang for your buck, price to performance phone, I think the Note 10 Plus has the most to offer. Anyways guys, that was my top five reasons why you should buy the Note 10 Plus in 2021. If you guys have any questions, please ask them down below. Um, your comments, feedback is also greatly appreciated. Anyways, thank you for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.